McGuire's welcomes you to the car craziest half hour on television. Traveling the world to prove that all car guys are the same. Regardless of where we live on the planet or what type of cars we love, the passion is the same. We're all just totally car crazy. Welcome to Car Crazy Central, ground zero for monitoring the major events and personalities of the car hobby around the world. Each week, we creatively serve up a full menu of car crazy passion for you to enjoy via our car crazy television and radio shows, as well as on demand through our website, carcrazycentral.com. Our mission is pure and simple. <laughs> oh, that's right. We want to make you just a little more car crazy. You and cars and, and me and cars and going out meeting the people, that's what it's all about. It works. And it's a good it community. <laughs> it's one of the best communities. I have a great time as well just listening to the engine because it's not a noise, it's a real music. Really going after the passion of what these people are really all about and how much they love their cars. And now your host. Barry McGuire. Hi everybody and welcome to this very special edition of McGuire's Car Crazy. We are often asked about where Car Crazy Central is and what does it look like. We travel all over the world. You often see us with our three cameras doing fairly elaborate shoots. We we're just about to head for uh, Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale, Arizona. Right after that, we'll be heading out to Paris for Retroview. And shortly after that, we'll be in Dubai for uh, uh, a look at the car guys in the Middle East. And so when we do all this, you see us out and about all over, but we're often asked, where, what happens then? Do you bring it all together? Do you farm it out to a studio somewhere or do you do it yourself? Well. The answer is we do indeed do it ourselves right here at Car Crazy Central. This is the most fun place on earth and we're going to take you through the halls and introduce you to our people. I get to do the fun stuff. It's it's easy to do the camera work and I just talk with car guys, hang out with car guys and share the passion. It's so much fun what I do. I, you know, I think perhaps you can tell that I enjoy it a whole lot. Behind what I do though is an awful lot of work, an enormous amount of work that takes place. That takes an awful lot of talented people and God has just continued to bless us with person after person person who has brought unique skills to us that we have really genuinely needed. I so often ask them, why would you come to our little production company when you have, have, are working at this huge studio over at, I won't name any names, but some of the largest ones you could think of, and they say, uh, every time, say, because I'm a car guy and I want to work and apply my skills where people share the same passion that I share and I can work on projects that I'm really interested in. And so I think that all goes to into the kind of content we deliver so you can understand that it is car guy stuff, but it's really produced by car guys that have the passion. And just running a camera down the angle of a car, you'll see that we shoot cars different. We talk to people differently. We The whole thing, it just exudes true passion. And every company is kind of an extension of the leader. I kind of tend to be the leader around here. And I look around and I just see myself replicated over and over and over again. Again. Anyway, this is going to be a hoot for me and I think for you as well. So we're going to take a break, but right after the break, we're going to take you on an up close and personal tour throughout the whole complex here so you can see the people and the technology and exactly what it takes to produce the kind of content that we're delivering to you on Car Crazy Central. So don't you dare go away. There's more to come, so stay tuned. We'll be right back right here on Car Crazy. Crazy. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy and our exclusive behind the scenes look at all the things that go into producing Car Crazy Radio, Car Crazy TV, and CarCrazyCentral.com. This is going to be a lot of fun taking you through Car Crazy Central. Crazy offices are already. Lots of good things going on. We need to start with Leslie Kennedy. Leslie is the Vice President, Chief Operating Officer of Car Crazy and has been with me since the first time we turned that first microphone on a long time ago. Um, excuse me, Leslie? Hey, 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 hey. Can you give me a minute? I'll be right with you. Yeah. Let me just finish up. Okay, right all right. Here. Okay, she's tied up for just for a moment. Let's go over to our conference room. Pretty cool conference room. I think you're going to like this a whole lot. Like everything else in our car crazy offices, our conference room is pretty cool. We have a, a glass conference table that actually encases two engines. One came from year one, they gave it to us. It's their 69 uh, cover car, you may remember that car. The other from our Ford Focus National Championship car, 850 horsepower four bagger. The seats, the conference room table seats, you'll see it here, are actually from Sparco. Thank you, Sparco. And uh, of course, we talk about really serious stuff here, serious deliberations going on, so we kind of capture it with with a, a scene from Pebble Beach where the judge is trying to decide whether or not this car should be best in class. 
class. Let's go inside and see what they're talking about. Hi, guys. Sorry to barge in with a few million of our Car Crazy viewers, but what's the topic of this discussion? Well, we have so many episodes of Car Crazy on our website. We're talking about how to keyword encode each one so that our viewers can find their favorite car, favorite celebrity, favorite interview, whatever they're looking for. Now, this is really important what you're doing here. I mean, it really is. It makes the site so much user friendly when you hit the search button and find a personality or a venue or whatever, you hit that. Sometimes we have quite a listing of personalities, all the different places they show up on our site, whether it be radio or television or what have you. That's right. Not only will they search the Car Crazy episodes, but the entire website for any content related to that word. It's a great subject. I wish I could join you, but I got a tour I got to do here. So <laughs> take care. Carry on. Thanks, guys. Well, that was fun. Hey, let's check in on Leslie Kennedy, see if she's free yet. Hey. Hey, I'll be right with you. Just hang on a minute. I'll be right with you. Guess not. We'll catch up with Leslie later. Hey, let's go see what our creative department's doing. You know, we have a passion statement. It states that we are a hotbed of energy and emotion dedicated to the creation, identification, and propagation of cutting-edge ideas, products, services, programs, promotions, and experiences that overwhelmingly excite and unite car enthusiasts worldwide. And you know what? This is ground zero for accomplishing all that and a whole lot more. It takes a lot of high-tech equipment as well as a lot of highly talented people to create all the content that you enjoy on our TV show, our radio show, and our internet site. And I have to tell you, this is such a fun place to work. In particular, we have amazing talent to create car crazy graphics and illustrations of every type of car and car guy situation you could possibly imagine which evolves into a long menu of car crazy screensavers, wallpapers, and icons that you can download free of charge when you go to carcrazycentral.com. And then we take our original illustrations and move them into flash design so that you can choose from a long list of car crazy e-cards that have movement and sound. What a great way to send messages to your car crazy friends. And once again, it's free when you go to carcrazycentral.com. Then there's our car crazy cafe. This is our virtual meeting place for car guys. The common term that's used on the internet is community, and this is where you can meet car guys across the country and around the world. And you know what? You can actually upload videos of yourself talking beside your car in your garage, and moments later, car guys all over the world will be watching you. Let's take a look at one. This is the first time it's been in the water? Yeah. It looks beautiful. Look at hey, Jim, you got the drain plug in? Here we go. Oops, sorry, whoever's behind me, sorry. Oh Woo! Here goes the boat. Hello, I'm uh, Philip, car crazy guy from Paris. I don't think I need to, uh, to even present it to an American audience, but uh, for people who might have escaped it at some point, it is a Shelby Mustang GT500 made in 67. I suddenly decided I wanted to own a beast, and this seems appropriate enough, really. I have a lot of fun driving it on small roads in France, occasionally on track. I have a great time as well just listening to the engine because it's not a noise, it's a real music. On top of this all, I discovered that it was quite fun also to watch people who see the car in the street and listen to, them, to their comments occasionally as well. I hope you, you'll enjoy to see this as much as I enjoy driving it. Car Crazy! Of course, humor plays such a significant role in everything we do here at Car Crazy Central. This is the cage we keep our humor guys in. So, hey guys, you're at it again. You're at it again. You're right in the middle. Okay, what's what's yeah. the what's the project? What's the latest idea? Well, it's you guys a new one called about? Prom Date. You, you, you got to yeah. tell them about this. Yeah, this this, uh, this this kid is coming to the uh, to to a, the high school prom. Senior he goes prom. to pick okay. up the girl. Goes to pick up the date. He's he's a little guy. He's in the tux. He's yeah. got the corsage. <laughs> so he goes up to the door, rings the doorbell, uh -huh. and right away the dad answers. Uh -huh. he's a big guy. Before he wants the date, the daughter to come out, he says, I got to talk to this kid. Okay. Puts the arm around him, gives him the instructions. <laughs> I want her home by 11. Nothing too yeah, fast. Yeah. Treat her as if maybe like, uh, I'm right there with you. I'm right you. there with or, him, yeah. Or, or like, you know, don't hurt my baby. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate to baby. kill another kid. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, you know. Yeah. I'm not too no, sure. I, I don't think we'll go there. I don't think we'll go there. I mean, as a father of two daughters, I, yeah. I grilled those guys. I was like, yeah. I had him shaking. I had he reaches in his pocket, pulls out car keys and, and says, be careful with her. I just had her detail. Right. And the whole thing car. is this kid's going to use his car, drive his car. Dad was worried about The his car, car is the baby. The car is the baby, not yeah. the girl. Yeah. The daughter's going to come out and it says, I'm ready. And then the guy really puts the hammer on and goes, oh, and everything I said for the car goes double for my daughter. Yeah, I tell you what, on this idea, 
Okay, let's kind of follow it through. We'll take our cameras and we'll right. kind of shoot stuff. I wish I could just hang out here all the time. <laughs> this is the most fun part of the building. Yeah. Okay, we'll follow along with you for, yeah. what's it called? Uh, prom, prom date. Prom date. Prom date. Okay, we're gonna follow the yes. prom date. Mr. Larkin. Hey, Timmy. Big night, huh? Yes, yes, sir. Big night, big night. You know she's my girl, right? Well, I want you to take real good care of her. Oh, yeah, of course. Timmy? Yes, Mr. Larkin? I know you're young. Yeah. I know you want to have a good time tonight. Oh, yeah. I want you to take it easy. Okay. Nothing too fast. Uh-huh. I want you to treat her just as if I was right there with you. Okay. I want you to have her home by 11. Yes, sir. Timmy, I want you to take care of my baby. I just had her detail. I'm ready. And what I said about my car, I mean double for my daughter. Yes, sir. Timmy, a little bit to your left. There you go. One more big step. That's nice. Well, let's check back in with Leslie. She has to be ready for us by now. I, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, we really have to do it. Ooh, that really hurt my <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're just pulling your leg. Leslie is the powerhouse behind the camera, but she does not like to be on camera, so we kind of just set this whole thing up. Back with a lot more of our behind the scenes look at Car Crazy Central right after this break. When we come back, we'll see what goes into producing Car Crazy Radio with Big Schwag and Schwag Time Radio, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, right here on Car Crazy. Crazy. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy and our behind the scenes look at what it takes to bring you all things car crazy, radio, television, and carcrazycentral.com. Big Schwag is inside here doing a radio program for us right quick and they're in the middle of conversation. I can hear them. Can you hear them? <laughs> well, let's break in. I think we can do that. <laughs> Whoa! Hey there. Well, now hold hey there. on a second, hey, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Being interrupted by the man, the myth, the legend himself from Car Crazy TV, Barry McGuire. How are you? How you doing, Mark? How you doing? Hey, doing there, ladies Mark, and gentlemen. Right. right now, we have a, a good up-and-coming uh, guy in the business from Bent Fabrication, Mark Bolin, whose specialty is plumbing. On right. and uh, right. he's been working a lot. Of, oh, oh, please sit down. Always an honor to have you in here when we do a little swag time radio. How are you doing? You guys, you, we can hear you outside the door. I mean, you're having so much fun. Having here. a good time. You know, I love doing my show here for you at carcrazycentral.com. And as I was telling the folks at home, I try to bring in some interesting people, whether yeah. they're celebrities yeah. or, or whatnot. And in fact, he's working on a 29 Model A right now that I know you can appreciate. Oh. You're developing quite a following already. Congratulations. Nice to have you here with us today. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. We've been together for a while. And from the first time we ever did an interview together, yeah, we just we, kind of... Yeah, we clicked, you know, I mean, we're definitely a little bit opposite, but... Uh, that's what makes it work. That's what makes it work. Yeah. It's, it's nice to show the hobby through eyes other than just my own and have people that see it differently. You see the hobby differently. We have a lot of fun together. We're soulmates in, yep. in, in the passion that we have, yep. uh, but we have different backgrounds and different experiences. And, Absolutely. And, and so bringing that just complements everything we're doing here at, at Car Crazy. Yeah, it, you know, I've been blessed to be the last four years working with Monster Garage and Jesse James, and now, you know, over the last year working with you and the people at CarCrazyCentral.com, and it's almost <laughs> overload for me, but you know what? <laughs> I'm doing what I like. I enjoy it. You uh, do it. You're never yeah. stressed. You come in. You're happy hey and, uh, you know that's that's the business folks I mean you know uh, if, if I wasn't talking about cars I don't know what I'd be talking about you know it's interesting how swag is such this big intimidating guy scares you to death at first glance and then when you get to know it, you find out he's such a sweetheart has such a great a great heart all right 
folks, I gotta let you know that we are coming back with more McGuire's Car Crazy right here. But if you don't come back, if for some reason you go and get a sandwich or you go out to drive your car, Barry and myself are gonna get a little angry. Show them the angry face, Barry. Come on. I don't have one. Show, show, just a little, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We're coming right back with more passion, a double size serving of McGuire's Car Crazy. Stay tuned. All right, now, let's see just how car crazy you are. What was the first concrete-paved highway in the world? Was it Highway 1, also known as PCH in California? Woodward Avenue in Detroit, Michigan? Market Avenue in Akron, Ohio? Or Main Street in Detroit, Michigan? So how about it? How many of you think you got this one? We'll find out the answer coming up later in the show. When we come back, we'll see all the crazy things that go into making the TV show. Oh, you certainly don't want to miss this. So stay tuned. We'll be right back, right here on Car Crazy. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy and our behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to bring you all things car crazy. Radio, television, and carcrazycentral.com. Welcome back to McGuire's Car Crazy for our behind-the-scenes look of what it is like to live and work here at Car Crazy Central. This happens to be our television production truck, our mobile television production truck. As we go on location, we often have to create our shows right on the spot. If you were, for instance, at the SEMA show this year, we are SEMA Television, and there we produced our shows and aired them immediately from this truck throughout the entire 2 million square feet of the convention center, and then produced television shows each each evening that were aired in 50,000 hotel rooms every night. So you couldn't do that by sending it back to California and then back to Las Vegas. We just had to do it right on the spot, which is so often the case. Sometimes we want to just beam them right up to the satellite. So this type of unit where we can do all the editing, pick which shots we want, do all the sound mixing, actually produce the entire show and send it off, that all takes place right inside this mobile studio. Kind of neat, huh? Let's see what else we have right down the hall. You know, for our television show, we also have state-of-the-art animation designers with amazing capability to create 3D animation. We create all the animation that you'd see in our show right here. Car crazy! Our editing bays will blow your mind, working with digital video and audio engineering in almost every format of media. We even compose and produce all of our own music for the show and the McGuire's Award right here. It's about the hood, the lines, the way your fender shines. I like the way your wheels turn. I'm a car crazy. With the amazing talent we've attracted, including the booming voice of car crazy, that is incomparable. Oh, yeah. I'm Don Ranson, the voice behind car crazy, and I am certifiably car crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Don. <laughs> Don't you love him? It is amazing what he can do with his voice. Uh, some editing going on in here. Let's check in right now. Oh, Barry's here. <laughs> hey. Hey. Well, we're fortunate that an editing session is going along as, as scheduled. Yeah. And uh, Art, be our producer here, uh, help us understand what's taking place here, Art. Well, you know, we're looking at the uh, Jeff Beck piece that we did in uh, Jolly Old England there. What a guy. I mean, I he's a great car guy. He is. American hot rider, Amer living in England. Yeah, in England. He yeah. <laughs> built it all himself. He does. Wow, it's just phenomenal. He works on all his own cars. and uh, really impressed me. I help our viewers understand what takes place. Uh, for, for openers, how many editing bays do we have here? We have 12 edit bays that are always working on show after show after show. Needless to say, we have to release a show every week. So each show is being worked at some level at, in some point in time. All these shows are being worked on. because There's so many different parts of the show. There's the trivia part of the show. There's the new community section. There's the car hopping. and There's all these different pieces have to be made and, and then layered into the show. It's an enormous effort. You see it this half hour show on, 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 and you just look at it and say, wow, it's, it's a great show. That, you can't imagine the work that goes into these shows. I do the easy part. I just show up with a microphone and have fun. Leslie over here organizes everything and gets all the all of it going. And then all the work starts and all this editing. And we probably actually air on television 
what, maybe 5% of what we shoot, 10% of what we shoot? Maybe. Uh, maybe. So as you peel away at the layers of the passion of the individual or the cars, you see the, 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 the story starts to unfold. And we're really going after that, that, the passion of, this, of, of what these people are really all about and, and how much they love their cars. All of our staff at one time or another is in these sessions. We find whoever's available at the time, and they come in and they start looking at it and they ask these questions and it just keeps it sharp. So that's kind of the last step of the editing process. Right, right. At the last stage, we think it's done. And Leslie's right. busy and she hasn't been here. We, no, no, we better get Leslie in here. She's always found a typo or somebody's name just slightly misspelled or their title not quite correct or whatever. So on top of everything else, you help us in that. Just a, you have to have a special gift to be able to see those things. I'm always looking at the person, listening to what they're saying, and you're watching all the other pieces as well. But well, it's confusing. I mean, the car hobby has a lot of, uh, a Taubo, a Duesenberg. I mean, they're, they're unusual words. So I don't know if they're typos or just, they're just difficult words to find in the dictionary. And, and if you haven't noticed, there's a nose poking up down here. This is our mascot. Bailey keeps us in a good mood even when things aren't going so well. We all have those days once in a while. So she keeps us happy all the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll let you back out. I know we have to get this show done. Yeah, so, yeah. Thank thanks for allowing us to barge in. Don't go away. We'll be right back. There's more to come right here on Car Crazy. So what was the first concrete paved highway in the world? According to LOC.gov, the very first paved highway in the world was Woodward Avenue in Detroit, Michigan. That was in 1924. From its earliest beginnings as the world's first paved highway, Woodward Avenue now hosts the annual event called the Woodward Dream Cruise and has become America's oldest and best known car cruising corridor. <laughs> and frankly, if you knew this bit of car trivia, you must be car crazy. <laughs> and now, once again, Barry McGuire. I hope that you've enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look here at Car Crazy Center because, hey, this is our home, and it's from here that we travel out all over the world to capture literally all parts of the car hobby. Then we bring them back here, we edit them, we choreograph them, and then we send them out to you on our television, our radio, and our internet broadcast. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm having a ball. I mean, I've never had so much fun in all my life. It, it is a lot of work. I mean, we do a lot of hard work, a lot of hours around here, but I literally enjoy every part of the process. I am driven, I must tell you, by my passion to show you how big the car hobby is, how wonderful the people are that are in it, how similar we are, how much we're all alike no matter where we are in the world, and most importantly, how fortunate all of us are to be part of the car hobby, the greatest fraternity on earth, and to make you just a little bit more car crazy. Here's some really big news. Now you can upload videos of yourself and your car for the world to see on carcrazycentral.com. Send car crazy e-cards. Download car crazy screensavers. Catch up on car crazy news. Watch car crazy television shows on demand and enjoy our vast selection of original car crazy humor videos and cartoons guaranteed to make you laugh out loud. This is the meeting place for car guys worldwide and it's all free right now on carcrazycentral.com where the car hobby clicks. Crazy!